Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. We're here at the Quail Lodge up in Monterey with uh, probably the most exciting car here. It's certainly one that's getting most attention. This is the 918 Porsche. Now you might remember a couple years ago, we showed a prototype and we drove it a few feet, and, but it was a one-off. This is the final design. This is what the customer car will look like. I want you to meet the, uh, Frank, what is your exact title? I'm the head of the 918 Spider Head of the project. 918, Frank. Come on. Hi. Frank, what yeah. is it? Perfect. Ah, there you go. <laughs> And uh, you're the, uh, the man behind this. Beautiful job. Thank you. Nice looking car. And it's just the right size. You know, cars get so big and fat and wide. We now. want to keep a yeah, small th car. Th this is nimble car. Very nimble car. Uh, let's go over the technical specs. What's the horsepower? The horsepower, we, in the times of a hybrid, you have to talk about the system power. System right. power is 887 horsepower in right. total. Right. So we have from the combustion engine, three, 608 horsepower. Right. It's a normally aspirated V8. Right. And then we have an additional 285 from the electric motors. And what is the, uh, how many liter? Uh, 4.6 is the 4.6, okay. And, and a brand new V8, correct? It's a brand new, only yeah. for this car. Maybe. Right, right, right. So. Again, that's a nice thing about uh, Porsche. Everything is bespoke to this car, isn't it? It doesn't really share. It's, we have uh, well some bolts and nuts. Well, I'm, yeah. And uh, right. I, I can show you the carryover part. Yeah, okay. This one. There you go. There you yeah, are. But it's the only one. There you are. The rest is new. Only only made for this car. Now you know something a lot of people do not know in America. That uh, Ferrari is not the only prancing horse out there. You guys had the prancing horse bef before, before Ferrari, correct? Before so Ferrari. there you go. Well, let's walk. Well, it is a beautiful design, a beautiful car, all carbon fiber. Yeah, complete body shell yeah. is, is carbon fiber. Also, the structure is complete carbon fiber. Right, I love I love these exposed carbon fiber here. Very nicely done. That's part of the Weissach package. Right, and the exhaust coming out the top. That's uh, that's a unique word. Yeah, that's really that that really says it all. It's the only car in the world. Um, there was another one. This was the '63 Batmobile. Okay, <laughs> but this the is Batmobile is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot faster than the Batmobile. It is. And what does the car weigh? Do you know? Um, in kilograms, it's 1,634. This is a little bit more than 3,200 pounds. Okay, so 32 to <coughs> 300 pounds. Very, very, nice very light for a plug-in hybrid. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. And what is the uh, battery capacity? It's 6.8 kilowatt hours. Okay. It gives you a mileage of approximately 10 to 16 miles okay. range. Very good. And of course, this is what the future is going to be. You know, so many European cities are talking about not allowing cars in that put out too much uh, emissions. And consequently, your choice is either you ban those cars altogether, or you have something like this, where you drive right up to the city limit, you switch to electric, to electric and you drive in. I mean, it's a brilliant solution that gives you the best of, uh, best of both worlds. And interestingly, it, it tremendously improves also the performance of the car, right. because we are using the electric motors for pushing really the limits on the performance, and we get the energy back by braking. Now, the electric motors power the front wheels? Yes, uh, we have one in the front, right. 95 kilowatts, and right. we have one in the back, okay. 115 kilowatts. Right, so both front and back are powered by electric as yes. well. Okay, so we have an electric four-wheel drive. In the car. Right, exactly, okay. And it's not that far from the prototype we looked at no. a couple of years ago. No, definitely not. I'm so glad they kept the exhaust, because that's, that's really the that's killer. That's really unique and, yeah, uh, yeah. and a nice solution. Now, a dumb question, but rain or when washing the car, uh, is there a well, drain? It's, it's hand wash, but you see, yeah. it's it's two two tubes, right. and if the rain comes down, it's the the, the bigger tube with the diameter, so the, the okay. water goes down, right. and then um, goes in the engine bay and then out of the car, so no problem. And this is your, is it the electric plug? electric on this side and cost fuel yeah. on the other? Just open it. Oh, I see. And it's a and standard, standard uh, 240 standard. plug. Yeah, you can. You will have. This is the European specification for the US. You get US specification. Right, right. Then you can charge it 120. 110, 240, whatever right. is available. Although it doesn't look like any Porsche I've ever seen, it looks like a Porsche. Yeah. So that's really the exciting. Porsche DNA is, yeah, is the there. DNA is there. Even with some, some new details, right, like the, right. the sharp edges, and but it's still a Porsche. Does the regen work on deceleration or does it work on yes. the brakes? Uh, on the brakes. Okay. And uh, also with the engine. So it depends on the driving strategy. We have four general driving strategies and then we do the regen depending on braking, or right. if you have uh, some extra power from the engine. Did it take a lot of engineering expertise to overcome the the regen and still have the yes. brake feel? Yes. Uh, that was this very is, tricky, this wasn't it? Is, this is 
definitely the biggest task in a high performance hybrid yeah. to have a proper feeling of the brake pedal. Right. Um, that you cannot feel the difference between electric braking right. and hydraulic braking. But the solution in this car is awesome. It's really very, very good work. Yeah, because people that have never driven the car are complaining about it. But no, yeah. you, so, you have to, so they don't know what they're talking they about. They don't know. And then, electric well, power steering? Uh, electric power steering. Right. Everything is electric in the car. <coughs> right. Air conditioning, power steering, everything. So we have we have no belt on the on the engine anymore. Right. Okay. We don't need it. Is there a separate battery that runs the engine separate from the <coughs> lithium ion, or is it all the same? Um, two batteries. We have a, okay. a small 12 volt right. for the standard network. Right. The 12 volt, and then we have the big battery, the gotcha. high voltage, so 130. Per se, there's a power outage, and you have no electricity available, and you've used up the electricity. You just start it and drive it as a normal car. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Tell me about the transmission. The transmission is a seven-speed PDK. Okay. Um, basic coming from the PDK okay. uh, gearboxes from Porsche. We took the one of the turbo, but we flipped it upside down um, to have a lower center of gravity. Right. And for that, we have to rework the, the gearbox heavily, but also especially for this car. But the gearbox is only running through the v8 motor or no. does it it's great also including like okay. like the, the layout of a panamera it's the electric motor and the and the v8 so we can we can bring both engines together and this makes it so the electric motor actually shifts as well yeah. oh yeah. that's interesting yeah. okay shifts okay. in the back does not shift in the front okay gotcha so front is direct front shifts is direct in the back. and this one shifts okay and how much torque from the electric alone it's yeah. 400 newton meters okay 400 uh, newton meters foot pound i don't know oh, get your get your dictionary <laughs> out newton meter foot pound yeah. it's a lot it's a lot. a lot. It's yeah. enough. Definitely yeah. enough. And definitely enough. Like Rolls Royce. Yeah. Adequate. Yeah. yeah, it gets the job done. <laughs> this is what I like about Porsche. When I bought my uh, Carrera GT in 2005, that was the epitome of engineering and high tech, and with especially with a manual gearbox. And then to completely change direction and come out with a totally new package is, is in that short a time. What was and the development time for this car? About four years? It's, uh, no, less. Three years. Wow. Okay. It's total three years. It's, it's really also for the development. It's a, it's a race, but it fits to a race car. Does anything open? Yeah, for sure. We, we can open the hood. Let's see, yeah. When your wife says we're taking a trip, you go, honey, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> you have to put the roof yeah, on. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> honey, you send your stuff ahead. Okay, because. <laughs> the yeah. interview is to take the roof. This is yeah. again lighter than Carrera GT. Yeah. Wow. This is seven pounds. Wow, look at that. Not gonna get much of a workout using these. <laughs> seven pounds. Yeah. And obviously, look, I'm a boy, feel how light that is. Yeah. This is, what does uh, this whole hood weigh, about 35 uh, pounds? 22. 22? 22. 22, okay. Nicely done. We gotta take this for a ride. Have they done the Nürburgring ring in this yet? 714 with the prototypes wow. and uh, this was the prototype a year ago. Wow. So we are in pure electric right now, up until you get what, maybe one third throttle, half throttle, something like that? Right, a little bit. One third, uh, it's I think 40%. 40%. And this is all electric. Still electric. And the gas engine will kick in. Yeah, I think it kicked in. <laughs> well, very raucous sound, terrific. Turn the wheel to, to hybrid. Turn to hybrid. This is sport. Okay, okay. In sport, the engine is running all the time. If you, yeah. if you give you a little bit of space and then accelerate, then you will see what happens if you have electric engines yeah. additionally on board. Got some kick. If you try a little bit the handling, how yeah. nice it reacts on, yeah. on, uh, on the steering. Well, the technology is what's fascinating. Yeah. But you can't keep making the same old thing, you know? Yeah, it's always a point when you have to make a decision when we yeah. go for a new thing. And this shows for the first time that it's possible in a, in a sports car. Four valve V8 or five? Four, four. four. Obviously twin cam. Oh, twin cam. Two Vario cams, right. um, a flat crank, it's 180 degrees crank. And you do not feel which engine is working. 
if it's the electric or the combustion, both are working. This car will have um, a European specification, it's around 70 miles per gallon, US is 45, yeah. but this is extremely low for an 800 horsepower yeah, car. Yeah. Well, in America, you've got to get 54 miles per gallon by 25, and 25 is not that far away. You know, it's so funny, like my Carrera is the last of the old school. Yeah. That's the very best, oh, close the book and you move on, you know? If you go to race now, oh, where's race? Go ahead, okay. Race is just the next uh, switch. Then it's even faster and sharper. <laughs> yeah, that's faster. <laughs> but the interesting thing, the car is inside louder than outside. Yeah, yeah. As we are closer yeah. to the muffler than the microphones on the on the homology. Oh, of course. That's right. I forgot about that. Go back now to um, to e drive. Just switch between the modes. Wow! Well, that's amazing. As you see, we snuck in very quietly because we're on electric mode, and it's uh, this is the future of the supercar. This is what it's going to be. Uh, you know, we were just discussing the fact that most electric cars heavier, slower, cost more. What's the advantage? With this car, it turned to what the prototype 714 Nuremberg ring. I mean, the fact that the hybrid gets better mileage, uh, quieter, meets all emissions, and is faster than, sadly, my Carrera GT. So that's a nice thing. Porsche always moves the bar forward. When I got my Carrera GT, that was the fastest thing available. Now that's kind of taken a little step back, and we may have to go to this. Frank, thank you, my friend. What an honor. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I enjoyed it immensely. See you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>